It's pretty easy to dig into the details of the new Unified Development Ordinance 24-7 by checking out columbiasc.gov forward slash zoning. But we thought it might be helpful to highlight a few of the resources available there. We're using a desktop computer, so our navigation appears at the top of the screen. Please note, if you're using a mobile device, the navigation will probably appear at the bottom of the web page. The About Zoning page serves as a great directory for the resources available and provides easy to follow instructions to access different zoning related services, like how to request a zoning verification letter or administrative adjustments. It also contains direct links to zoning topics and different land use boards and commissions that work with the Unified Development Ordinance and zoning regulations. If you've looked at Columbia's or another city's code of ordinances before, chances are you've accessed them through Municode, which is a website that hosts many local regulations nationwide. While the city still uses Municode to house the city's ordinances, Due to the highly visual nature of the Unified Development Ordinance, Municode will simply provide a link back to the UDO PDF on the zoning page. So this page, and the linked PDF, is the place to go to access the current regulations. Since the UDO is a large document, it is also helpful to note that there are some excerpts on the page here as well, which may take you straight to what you're interested in whether it's a list of what uses are permitted in a zoning district, what a home occupation entails, or what rules apply to eating establishments specifically. Information about each base zoning district and zoning overlay districts are provided on the districts and overlays subpage where hyperlinks will take you directly to an excerpt of the UDO that covers each zoning district. You can look up your zoning by using the city's Geographic Information Systems, GIS, City Information Viewer, and we'll cover the ins and outs of doing that in a subsequent video. Remember, if you want to access the design or preservation guidelines referenced in the zoning overlay district descriptions, you can do that by navigating to Planning and Preservation up top or at the bottom if you're on a mobile device, and accessing either the design districts or historic districts. While all building permits require zoning permits, not all zoning permits require building permits. Confused? Things like fences and walls, signs, or small accessory structures may not require a building permit and inspection, but that doesn't mean that they don't have to adhere to certain standards within the UDO. You can find the applications for these types of zoning permits, as well as a link to the online portal on the zoning permits subpage. Applications, agendas, and other information are updated regularly on our website, so please make sure you're clearing your cache and checking for the most up-to-date documents when you're submitting an application or checking out the UDO or board and commission agendas. And don't forget, if you have questions about what requires a zoning permit or anything else zoning related, you can reach out to the zoning division during normal business hours at 803-545-3333 or via email at zoning at